to EA Sports. Oh, this building's electric, and both teams are set to go. You can feel the intensity of this one. Quarter playoff atmosphere. We're underway. Pittsburgh's got it now. Scores! What a play by EK65, Eric Carlson. The key factor on this goal is having the patience to wait for net front presence to take away the eyes of the goaltender who can't see it or track it. Then that shot comes with confidence, makes its way to traffic to the back of the net. The Penguins are off to about as perfect a start that you could ask for. Anytime you're on the road in that pregame, right before you step on the ice, you're talking about dictating the pace, sending a message, and getting off to a hot start. You can't get off to a better one than that. And that's knocked away by Drysdale. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck now. Here's a centering pass. Can't get the shot off. Crosby's lugging the puck. Tries to get it to Rust. Toss it up on the play. Passes it over to Konechny. Quick pass to Drysdale. And makes the save. Pedersen's moving the puck through his own zone. And he keeps possession. And some good footwork to kick it away. Sends the pass over. Moves it to Sandheim. Makes his presence known on the ice. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Quick pass across to Raquel. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. The Penguins play it along the wing. Dishes it off. Looks to set up at the point now. Wrist shot from the slot. Puck scooped up by Drysdale. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Oh, what a stop by Jerry. Taken by Tippett. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Scooped up along the wall by Tippett. Scrum along the wall. Slides it diagonally to York. Passes it to Cates. Poked away in the neutral zone by Hayes. And the puck's kicked free. Hayes plays it now. Moves it to O'Connor. Cuts to the paint. Big save. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Pittsburgh's up one zip. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. They score! And that's back-to-back -back snipes! Well, it feels like there's a wave of a momentum, and it has certainly changed here. You can get the opportunity, but you have to execute. That's two in a row. Against the coach is salty behind the bench right now. You can just see his whole demeanor is negative because he's not impressed with the way his team is playing. You know, there's been a lackluster effort. They didn't come ready to play. They weren't prepared. See if we can pick up some momentum again here as a face-off is ready to go. Pittsburgh's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. The Flyers have it from their own end. And a nice post check inside the neutral zone. Takes the puck at the point. Off the club and makes the save. Pinned up along the boards. Oh, he exploded on him in the open ice. The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. And that's blocked. Angles it over to Graves. Hammers one. And he gets all Pittsburgh's gonna start with the puck inside the offensive zone. 
There's the whistle. We get a face off after the goalie covers up. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period, and it's a comfortable 2 0 lead we're looking at right now. Puck picked up by Ristolainen. From the open ice, they gain the line. Pittsburgh's got possession of the puck. And they'll dump it in. Philadelphia's got control of it now from their own end. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Moves it quickly over to Forster. Blocked in front. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Here's a shot. And somehow he got a piece of that one. More than half the period has expired. We've got a 2 0 game here tonight. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Passes on over to Rust. Here's an odd man rush. Nice poke check. Philadelphia's got the puck along the boards. Hard hit frees up the puck. And it's a quick pass to Crosby. And that's poked away by Ristolainen. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. And he's ridden off the puck. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. The Flyers gain control of the puck against the wall. Still keeps a hold of it. Picked up along the wall by Sanheim. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Hammers it on net, and that goes off the body. Oh, and serves up a little too sweet with that save. Again, the denial by the goaltender. But this save is all about the compete to find the puck. I mean, it's a battle, and you're trying to outbattle your opponent. You can see him bobbing up and down, trying to find the puck. He finds it at the last minute, reacts, and makes the save. Moves inside! James to see how quickly these shooters can get the puck off of their stick. I mean, they can shoot off their inside leg, their outside leg. It doesn't matter. But what does matter? The positioning from that slot area. You know that if you get all of it, you're going to tag one home. Philadelphia's counter punched here in the first period, and they're right back into it. Well, yeah, you can look at the game in different bunches, and this one is certainly going to mean something. Resetting and finding a way to create some much needed offense. And now it's grabbed by Graves. Pittsburgh's ready to go on the attack. There's the whistle. We've got an offside. Past the halfway mark of this period. Philadelphia is still down a goal here, but they have really picked up the tempo these last few minutes. Couturier's run the draw center. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Easily turned away by the goalie's glove. Puck grab by Bunting. And that caroms off a body in traffic. Cates takes it across the line. Takes a shot. That's glove by Jari. Well, this is such a quick shot that comes from the slot that you have to have good reflexes to be able to make that glove save. Getting into the later stages of this period, Pittsburgh's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Hayes wins the draw on their own end. And he slides it quickly to Bunting. They've got numbers here. Here's a shot. Tremendous stuff by Ayrson. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. And that one's turned aside. Philadelphia's in transition. Feeds it over. Big time stop. The Penguins gain possession, and it's kicked away. It's a fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. The officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. James, that's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. 
Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. put a lot of pucks on net so far here in this first period, but they still find themselves trailing late. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Philadelphia's got a hold of it along the wall. Quick feed to Delorier. And a smart heads up play to poke that away by Pedersen. Takes the feed. Pittsburgh's looking to break out. Pedersen's got it in the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by Benstrom. Tries to feed it over to Carlson. Dip goes across the blue line. And there's a club save on the play. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. And that concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Second period action. Stick around. The second period's about to go down. Still a long hockey left in this one as period number two gets underway. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? He's been fantastic in the game so far, James. I mean, he's the only reason his team is still in it. The Penguins have played for the defensive zone. And he takes the feed. Slides it across. Fires. That goes right out of the zone. Puck scooped up by Carlson. The Penguins have it now. Rusts into the offensive zone. They want an attack. And he takes the feed. Passes it over. Stones him on the one-timer. The Flyers have been generating a lot of pucks on net, but they still trail here in the second. Philadelphia's won the draw. And a little body contact on that play. A little bump and grind, but still hangs on to the puck. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Works it across to Hayes. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Here's a short pass to Krizlik. Drills him. Great defensive effort with the strip. Dishes it off. Oh, wow. What a save with the glove. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Penguins are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Pittsburgh's won the draw. Slides the puck across to Graves. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Slides it on over to York. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by O'Connor. Feeds it over. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Tries to get the puck over to Brink. He says, let's get physical on that play. The Penguins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Oh, just a great heads up play by Eller. Quick pass to Bovillian. Oh, and he's dialed in tonight. What a save on that one. That's intercepted. The Flyers have been picking off passes left, right, and center. You know the coach is going to like this, but it has to transition to offense. And this game's awfully close. Sends it quickly to O'Connor. Takes it into the slot. Makes a save, just got enough to keep it out. 
The key to being a great goaltender is not giving up second shot opportunities and it's playing the rebounds to the corner. He does an excellent job here. Well, with a one goal lead, there's a small margin of error, James, and to protect it, you can't be in the box. Now they're shorthanded and they've got to find a way to kill it off. scoring chances as they trail here in period number two. The frozen miss gets dropped and we are back underway here. Slides it across. Puck is frozen and we get a stoppage in play. Hayes hoping for some puck luck here on this face off as they continue to play shorthanded. The Flyers start with the puck in their own end. Musa quickly over to Konechny. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And he loses control of the puck. And they send it down the ice. Poked away at center by Konechny. Tries to dig on the puck, skips away. Konechny, has got a lot of flash to his game, in particular with his hands and the ability to manipulate his opponent, but he gets caught on that one and the puck dies on the stick. Gets the blocker on that one to turn it away. The Tang standing up, ready to go. Here's a shot, and that goes off a player. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Scores! And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. I uh, really like the push back to get the equalizer. Now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift is critical. Well, this is just a fabulous shot. When you're in that high slot area, you know that you're going to be close to pond quickly, so you've got to have a quick release. That's the first thing. And the second thing is the accuracy. If it's quick and it's on, you're going to score. Nearing the midway mark of the period. It's all tied up. has won the faceoff at center. Great hits up play with the stick by Malkin. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Directs it on over to Cates. Takes the pass. Moving into the attacking zone. Passes it over. Turned aside with the club by Harrison. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Philadelphia's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Scrum ensues along the boards. Here's a shot. Scores! And with that strike, they got in front. Well, I really like their game tonight. I mean, you always have to manage the ebbs and flows. When you grind away and you continue to trust the process, you get opportunity and they convert it on it. Oh, he burns the goaltender on that one. Picks up the rebound and buries it home. Boy, he looks frustrated now. James knows that you gotta redirect that puck to a safe spot.
The Penguins are finding that little extra pep in their step here in the second period and have taken a one-goal lead as a result. Well, they break the deadlock, and that's huge. Now you're playing in front, but I think this face-off and the shift that ensues is critical, James. Now you got your opponent right where you want him. You're back on their heels. Take advantage and try and get another one. And he maintains possession of the puck here. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Picked up along the boards by Briggs. Sends a pass over. Philadelphia is going on the attack as they gain the zone. There's a great save on an excellent chance there. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Picks up the puck. And he catches that one with the glove. Puck is frozen and will get a faceoff. The Flyers have had a lot of things go their way tonight, except for the score in which they trail here in the second. Ellers won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. The Flyers gain possession along the wall. Can't hang on after that hit. Sends it across the ice. And that play's neutralized. What a steal in his own end. Philadelphia has been disrupting play all night long, and this is because of their stick position. You have to find ways to be aware and anticipate where that puck is going to be going. Doing a great job, but this is still a close one. We've got to find a way to generate some offense. The Flyers take it along the wall. Pittsburgh's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. Oh, what an effort giving up the body there. Fantastic save! And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Late goings of this period. Pittsburgh's got a 3-2 lead at this point. Philadelphia's taken possession of their own end. And now he moves it quickly to Konechny. Pittsburgh's got the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Bunting. Poked away in the offensive end. Puck moved over to Faraby. Gains the zone. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Oh, what a hit along the wall. And that's a clean one, James. A great angle, shoulder to shoulder, and just laid it on thick. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. Makes a save. Sends it ahead to Frost. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. covers up and will get a face off. Pittsburgh's got it in the offensive zone. He got all of that hit on the play. And with that, two periods now in the books. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we got the third period coming at you in moments. Welcome back to EA Sports, your home for all things hockey. Savalski, Pounder, and here comes the third. Barring extra time, the final three. This one, here we go. Third period is underway. Moves it over to Carlson. The Flyers will play the puck from behind the net. Sends it over to Frost. Penalty coming up here. And Coach is looking for an explanation here from the official. Yeah, I mean, he's getting the rest here because he wants to know why his team is being penalized more often and is clearly having a factor in the game. The Flyers send their man advantage unit out once more. 
Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work, and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game, James, finding a way to move the puck quickly and create seams to get shots on net. Shots him down. Right in the low slot, and he stamps that one with the gloves. Well, this is just a great save from the slot area. I mean, he recognizes where that puck's going. He gives the top of the net, but he takes it away. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Philadelphia's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Big time stop there. Well, goaltender has to be able to anticipate the play, and he does just that. Gets square to the shooter in the low slot and makes the save. Puts it in deep. Pittsburgh's looking to break out. And the puck leaves the zone. From the point, looks to make something happen. Keeps a hold of the puck. And a great save! Handles the puck. Brinks picking up steam. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Pittsburgh's got it across the line. Glass carries the puck in his own zone. Jari's got the puck and hangs on for a whistle here in this third period. Well, he's been one of their best players all night. A reason why they're leading here in the third, James. But it's not just about the save. It's about managing the puck and making the decisions when to hold on. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. The lane was plugged up on that shot's block. Shuts him down. their chances as they trail here in this third period. Pass to Tippett. Now a quick pass to Trisdale. Takes it across the blue line. Tries to the sweet spot. Big time saving goal. Fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Here's a short pass to Alton. Slides the puck over. Stops him with a glove. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. The Penguins have a little breathing room here, but not much as they lead it 3-2. The Flyers win the draw here in their own end. Into the offensive end now. Pittsburgh's got the puck here in the open ice. Quick pass across to Raquel. And he takes the dish. Here's a chance on the attack. Makes the easy save with the glove. Takes that pass back to the point. Unleashes a cannon! There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Centers are set, face off ready to resume play. The Flyers win it in the defensive zone. Slides the puck ahead to Paley. Fires it into the offensive zone. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck. The Penguins take it across the blue line. Swings it in front. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Pittsburgh's got the puck inside the offensive zone. And puts it off the cross. He scores! Off the defender and into the net! The 
You can't blame the goalie on this one who's tracking the puck and then all of a sudden it changes direction because it deflects off of a defender in front. Real tough puck luck. time left here in this frame. Pittsburgh's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Takes the feed. The Penguins gain control of the puck. Rocks him. Handles it along the blue line. Philadelphia's on the attack. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Quick pass to Forster. Latang swooping in on the attack. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Forster's moving it ahead. Moves it to Delorier. And he hangs on to the puck. Moves the puck. Pittsburgh's got it from behind the net. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. Philadelphia's got control of it now from their own end. Pittsburgh's top line is going to come on the ice, and there's no coaching decision to be made here. I mean, they've been so effective. They contributed, and they're a reason why they're in the lead. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Handles the pass. Knocked off the puck. Great use of the stick at center by Rush. Moves it quickly over to Frost. And now it's grabbed by Graves. Pittsburgh's in on the offensive attack now. Takes up, come on. Quick feed to Ristolainen. And it's a quick pass to Frost. Rocks him on the play. Moves it around along the half wall. Goes defensive effort to poke it away. Slides the puck to Rust. Taken by Crosby. And he takes the pass. Philadelphia is looking to break out of their own end. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. And now it's grabbed by Kate. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Cuts into the paint! Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Grabbed along the boards by Bunting. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. The Penguins will play it in their own end. Here's a short pass to Tippett. And he slides it quickly to Couturier. On the attack along the boards. Here's a pass in front. And that's intercepted. Sends it down low. And now he moves it quickly to Pedersen. And that won't go as it hits one of his own teammates in front. Quick pass to Couturier. Pittsburgh's got the puck in their own end. Patterson stick handling in his own zone. And he moves it up to O'Connor. Under a minute to go here in regulation time. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Pittsburgh's doubled up on them. It's now 4-2. Nice job tying up his opponent. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Philadelphia's emptied the net. The extra attacker's now out on the ice. Moves it to the middle. The score. Distance. You can feel the energy. It's just popping out of them right now. Moves it to Forster. 
They've got to find a way to get some offense here. They've got the extra attacker. Scores into the empty net. This was right in my wheelhouse, James. These were the type of moments that I played in, and everyone can take a breath now, but the insurance marker has hit the 4 by 6 well, you can see the body language on them, James. The dying moments of the game, and they're able to get the empty net goal. Everyone can take a deep breath here, as that should do it. You know, it's a huge game when a coach reacts like that behind the bench. He knows what game he's in. This entire team does now, as he's going up and down the bench. We don't see it often, but when you do, you can't help but smile. The Penguins' persistence pays off as they get the empty netter, and that should probably do it here for this one, Cheryl. Yeah, that should be the insurance marker, James. They've got a comfortable lead now. They can all breathe a little bit lighter, and that should finish it off. Frost, quick stick, lands from the puck here at center. Poked away by Latang. Philadelphia's goalie is on the bench. The extra attacker has jumped into the play. <laughs> into the yawning cage. It's an extra net goal. Something happened, James. There's no question about that, but this time it just doesn't work out in your favor, and it winds up in the back of your net. On the dying moments of the game, they get the empty netter, James, and that's just a result of having urgency, making sure they protect the middle of the ice, and hey, they get it down the ice and get the empty netter to boot. The setters will glide into the dot. Ice. Ice. And off the face off, they take possession. And as the dying seconds tick away, they get a tail as they're moving on to the next round. The dream dies at one end of the ice, but at the other end, business continues here. Well, yeah, and they need to celebrate the moment because it was tough. You know, it's not easy to get here, and it's certainly not easy to win. But it's about resetting and mentally and physically preparing for the next step in the road. You've been a victor in big moments, and you've fallen in big moments. What does a moment like this mean here? Well, I mean, your opponent has given you everything they had, so it's showing respect for your opponent in that handshake line. Sometimes it's just a look in the eye, sometimes it's a pat on the shoulder, and sometimes it's nothing. But you got to do it. It's part of the game. Well, that'll do it for all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski, and we will see you next time from Rickside.